Hi Scorpio, this is Just with your September 2016 mid-month reading. I hope that you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So Scorpio, I had to take my time before I turned on the recorder, okay? Because I I was getting excited, right? And when I get excited, I seem to, I tend to, to talk loud. And fast okay <laughs> and then my words get all mumbled and jumbled up <laughs> so I wanted to calm down a bit because I want to explain this to you guys see see I'm trying to I'm trying to come down because I want to explain this to you guys in a way that it doesn't sound so loud and all over the place so I'm trying to reel it in guys and I may even have to pause this from time to time just to bring it back down a notch right I may have to pause it now <clears throat> That issue in the past that you guys were dealing with, it was some issues that you guys were dealing with. Now, this could be you were broke. You were falling into your shadow side, right? So you were overeating, overspending, overdrinking, having sex, that whatever it was, okay? Someone had a massive amount of control over you. You guys were being obsessive, compulsive, possessive, all of those things, all right? That's coming to an end, guys. If you guys were having some issues with people at work, remember I said, um, don't worry. Remember I said that? Remember I told you guys, don't worry. Because I told you, if you can get... Now, again, you too are going through your test. I think all the water signs are going through their own individual tests, okay? You guys too are going through your test. But it's obviously not the same as Cancer and Pisces, okay? You guys have this test of of getting over that shadow side that you guys tend to live with, married to, and commit yourself to. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. That Scorpio that will find themselves, and you all have it to some degree, okay? And even if you have other elements in your chart that would suggest you don't live there, like some of you, if you have Scorpio rising, moon, and sun, or, or Scorpio Mars, Scorpio Mercury, th these type of heavy things, um... You can find yourself living there, staying there a lot longer than, let's say, if you have a Scorpio sun, but then you have a Sagittarius moon, an airy something, you know, that sort of thing that's more upbeat, can't stay, can't just live in one place and just stay and ruminate. Now, that being said, for some of you, you can find yourself falling deep into those depressive states, those obsessive states, those dark feelings and thinking, self-sabotaging, um, and then it starts to manifest outwardly obviously and I was telling you guys last time to you're going to go through a, um, a difficult period and it was going to be the same kind of situation as obviously it's going to be a different people different circumstances but basically it's going to be the same test that you guys went through um, I want to say earlier this year okay that you failed at Okay, so if you were having issues on a job, some of you just up and left your job. If you were having issues at home, some of you could have just up and left your home or you made the situation worse than it was. Whatever it was, it was by your hand that you lost a certain, certain cer cer situation or something became worse than what it should have been because of your decisions, your actions, and how you handled the situation, okay? Um, and now it's come back around but in a different form, in a different way. And it was testing you to see, have you learned your lesson? Are you going to sabotage yourself again? Or are you going to face the fear, face the criticism, face the ridicule? Sorry, I messed that word all up. Face the, um, the naysayers, the people talking behind your back, the people, you know, the test facing it and, and feel all of those feelings that is so uncomfortable to feel and not run away because if you've done that well then you're on the other side and all of that stuff literally is starting to dissipate and you guys should be able to see it and you guys should be able to feel that now okay there's going to be something that you hear now for some of my Scorpios you may hear that someone has passed away Okay, and someone's passed away. Someone may feel that through the through the passing of someone, 
you get a benefit from the passing of someone, okay? And it's going to make you very happy. Like someone may have passed away and all of a sudden they leave you money or they leave something to you and you're like, what? Uh, wow, okay, uh, thank you. That sort of thing. <laughs> like you weren't, you were the last person thinking about getting anything from this and you got some, like something was given to you, okay? Um, others of you, as far as the workplace is concerned, someone may leave. Someone that you were having issues with, that sort of thing, you may leave or um, there may be a change and a shift as far as where they're placed and where they have to go. Um, so if they're not actually leaving, they could be moved someplace else. And it's, they're no longer an issue with you, okay? And they may feel like it's, it's unfair, but you're going to be very happy. It's something with a change that is going to happen that... Um, may seem unfair to others, okay? Because this change um, is gonna shake up other people, but it won't affect you. You're gonna be happy by it. It's gonna, you're gonna land on your feet. It's gonna be fine with you, but you're gonna hear um, people complaining, saying this is not right, this is not fair, but it's not gonna touch you. So be very happy about that, okay? Um, now do see that some of you have decided to start to, um, st you're gonna start something new or either you've just started something new, but I feel like it's more of an idea. Some of you are saying, okay, you, you, you're starting to see that it's my time now, it's my time. And now you see all the possibilities of what life can bring, okay? And now I feel like you're gonna get some news that comes your way to make you feel really happy okay really happy about a new project a new possible collaboration but i'm feeling more of you having come up with some ideas and then the feedback that you're getting from others is going to make you really excited because you're going to see that oh this is real pop this is really possible i feel like this is something that you guys at first was you just was thinking about it by yourself you didn't share it with anyone you didn't let anyone know and you were just um trying to kind of get the lay of the land on your own of like is this the right thing to do should I do this how am I going to do it that sort of thing and I feel now you're going to start to see the communication of others and circum certain circumstances coming that will show you yes you're on the right track and yes wow this is possible like I can really do this you know so I'm not talking about your job because you guys could work a job and then I know a lot of my Scorpios you have your job and then you have your own business that you're running and there's even going to be something else that maybe in the beginning you were saying, I don't see how I can do this. Like you may feel like you didn't have enough time. It was impossible. But now something has cleared up that has now made it possible for you to say, okay, I'm going to do this. And I actually can do this. Okay. And by October, things are going to change leaps and bounds. Like, again, I'm not saying that, oh my goodness, money is going to literally fall out of the sky. But in October, once Mercury starts to go direct, you're going to really start to just a lot of good fortune is going to be afoot for you guys, okay? You continue to get this will of fortune constantly and it could flip, it could go up, it could go down, meaning it could flip out, it's flipping out for me. So it's not like, oh, it's just all my cards are upright, that sort of thing, but it continues to come out upright. So there's um, good fortune, there's good energy, good opportunities out there for you. This is not the time to rest on your laurels. You want to get out and you want to be about and you want to... Um, network I feel and you want to connect with people and you want to take this opportunity because again I feel like for you guys I feel like for the next 10 months you know things starting again toward the latter part of October and into 10 months throughout this Jupiter transit and Libra is going to be really beneficial for you guys it's going to be a lot of opportunities that you guys can obtain behind the scenes so again there's going to be a lot of um, thinking ruminating coming up with things uh, behind the scenes, like, you know, getting a lot of things taken care of behind the scenes and then putting it out there. And then it's going to kind of take off that sort of thing. Um, so if some of you are interested in writing, um, creativity, anything where it's not, you're not like the front face of, of things, you're like kind of more behind the scenes, it will be beneficial for you. It really will be beneficial for you. Um, now, there is a situation I feel like 
you guys could have had a situation with someone and again i'm still focusing on work and career that sort of thing but i feel like um if you're if you've dealt with someone in your past um again for career that um perhaps at one point you didn't feel like you had enough or you were helping them out or or they i feel more they were helping you out and because they were helping you out they were there for you to some extent somehow you guys fell out okay there was some falling out that happened um and it could have been at one point a disappointment so this could be at the workplace where you know um someone was um, there for you at the workplace but then it kind of went left okay um know that and it doesn't necessarily have to be at the workplace it could be at the home place but if you had someone assisting you helping you in a very practical way so whether if they were giving you money or they were giving you a place to stay or they were helping you um with your children whatever someone was helping you okay um and then it kind of went left almost know that that's over and i'm so glad to finally be able to tell scorpios that all of that crap that you guys were dealing with doesn't mean that it's not gonna come back again i'm just saying for right now from what i see um all of that crap that you guys were dealing with that's over like stuff is really starting to go well for you even though other people may not feel people some people are going to be feeling like you know what this isn't right this isn't fair like they don't feel like they some of them are going to feel like they got the short end of the stick but oh well i mean what can you do you know it wasn't it, it wasn't by your hand so you know this is something that they have to deal with and i feel like whoever this person was that was helping you assisting you and they've always been there for you no matter what good or bad or indifferent if you guys had to take a break from each other there will be a coming back together i feel more toward like when mercury starts to go direct there will be a coming back together and if there was any animosity hard feelings or that sort of thing um the person is getting over it and you guys you'll be getting over it as well okay now i do see like toward the end of the month there is going to be someone coming back into your life okay um and again, it could be the situation, this person that you kind of had some issues with, you guys are getting back on the same page, but I'm feeling like this is totally different energy, okay? Um, for those of you who are looking for work, know that by the end of the month, you're going to get a job offer, okay? Um, yeah, you're getting a job offer, 100%. So if some of you were let go, um, or a lot of people around you will let go and now you guys are saying, okay, I need to look for me another job or something like that. I'm just going to move on from this place. By the end of the month, you're going to find something. Okay. Um, others of you, it'll be by mid October, right? Um, and it could have been, again, your manager, your supervisor, your, you know, the person that does the hiring and firing, this person could have let go a lot of people, but they wanted to protect you. Okay. Um, so they kind of looked out for you and, um, because of it, there isn't going to be you losing your job because there's someone protecting you, someone that really kind of, um, feels, I, they feel, they don't necessarily feel, some of them feel responsible for you, but others of them, they just feel like, you know, I want to protect you. Maybe there's something out there. I'm saying something out there, but I feel like there is, um, like you have protection and this person is part of that bubble of protection of protecting you from, you know, um, certain circumstances that would be unbeneficial for you. Okay, if that makes any sense. So let's get into love because I wanted to start with the love reading because that's what I saw like, bam, in my face. But once I turned on the recording, I was getting, like I said, I was going to get excited. But then I started to talk about the career. And so that brought me back down to earth. Now, um, the love life. This person from your past, this person... This person is someone that has money. This is somebody that does well for themselves. Um, and I know it could still be a toss up with who it is because Scorpio, you guys have a few people on your plate. Come on now. You know you do. Men and women. You have a few people on your plate. And um, there, but this person does really well and this person has supported you financially this person has been there for you so if at one point whenever you know recently last year earlier this year last year year before that when you guys were doing really bad we're in that bad place i remember telling you guys that there's somebody there helping you guys out and that type of, that person okay 
Um, I feel like this is, a, and this is toward my Scorpio ladies. All right. You have two men. There's two men. All right. There's someone that you're going to be hearing from very soon. That's going to tell you, and this is also for you guys is, has been in a threesome situation. Somebody's going to let you know that they're getting a divorce. Somebody's going to let you know that they, that they broke up from their relationship. And boy, are you guys going to be happy. Like somebody's going to let you know, okay, I'm single. I'm, you know, it's, I'm single. We broke up. I'm not with anyone. That's it. And you're going to be very happy about it. All right. And I feel like now you're going to be thinking of all the possibilities of where this thing can go. Because you waited for a very, very long time. And now it almost seems like, okay, now it's here. Like, I can't even believe that it's finally here. <laughs> you guys are going to be like, I can't believe that this is happening. I can't believe that this is finally happening. Like, I can be with this person, you know. Um, and I feel that um, for this person, for some of you guys, this person... Um, again, is someone that has been very hard for you to kind of get out of your system to kind of let go. And for some of you, this person feels that way about you. Okay. And I feel like there's, some, so there's two things going on, particularly with Scorpio ladies. There's someone that you needed to let go, that you need to kind of get over. And I feel like you're going to leave that person, that person that has been very hard for you to let go of, get over. And this doesn't necessarily mean that this person was physically around you. It could be someone that was like five years ago, three years ago, two years ago, a year ago. But it's that hurt, that disappointment, that pain, all of that you went through um, stuck with you. Okay. And it was blocking your love life and, you know, your prosperity and all of that stuff. You're letting that go. And you're going to hear something about this person that will put a period on the situation between you and them. Okay. And it's going to end. And for some of you, it'll just be because there's someone else that's coming in the picture that really has feelings for you that you have feelings for as well. And I feel like if you hear about this right now, it's not necessarily going to officially take off in a positive way. Like, like we're official until like mid October. That's when things are going to be official, but I have to give you a disclaimer here. Now we have Jupiter transit in Libra and I'm talking to my rising Scorpio Scorpio that has right Scorpio rising, but also Scorpio sun too, to, to an extent. Um, when Jupiter is transiting Libra for you guys, that's in your 12th house. That's the house of um, secrets. That's the house of um, things dissolving, things coming to an end, right? So your relationship, when you attract, and I'm speaking to my, I'm speaking to everyone, but to my Scorpio ladies and to my Scorpio men, to my Scorpio ladies, you're going to be attracting a kind of man that either is a, a far, that's foreign to you, like he's not from the same you know, culture, background, ethnicity, that sort of thing. Um, he will be someone that if you guys go the distance, you'll be moving together. Like you'll leave your hometown place that you know, and you guys will make a new home for yourself someplace foreign. Okay. Um, this could be very much a love karmic and it's going to be karmic. You're only going to be attracting karmic relationships to you. So a lot of people from your past, a lot of relationships that feel like it's a past relationship, that sort of thing. Um, there's a lot of opportunities for affairs to happen. Okay. Uh, you may be dealing with someone that may have, um, addiction problems, that sort of thing. It's people that are very spiritually inclined as well. Um, and that you have a spirit connection with, all right. And this is going to be a time of a lot of reflection for you guys as well. Um, so I'm saying that to let you know that you're not in the clear. Don't listen to this and just think, oh, this is that person. And yes, there's other, you know, things that comes with it that although it's not being very evident in this reading right now, I want you guys to understand the transit and what that can mean for you as well. Um, so think back. I think it was 2003, I think, but double check that. Um, I think it was 2003 when Jupiter was in Libra. Think back then, if you were in a relationship with someone and 
how did that pan out? What did it, you know, what was the energies around your love life then? Because um, it's not going to be the exact same, but they will have some of that flavor. Okay. And that's how you can kind of gauge, you know, your love life as it relates to this Jupiter transit. Okay. Um, that being said, again, I do see someone by the end of the month coming back to you. Um, again, I don't see that this person is going to be here to stay. Now, for some of you, um, like the, the ladies, I feel like, yes, by the end of the month, you're going to be coupling with someone that is your equal. Okay. The person will definitely be an equal to you. Like he's meant for you. You're meant for him. And it's in divine timing. It really is. And when it happens, it's going to happen like fast. Okay. It's going to happen fast. All right. Um, and there is an element of you leaving. I just get this. You leaving behind one person for another person. Okay. One person that it was very karmic. It was very difficult to be with this person, but at the same time, it was right. It was almost impossible to let this person go. That type of thing. It's hard for you to get over all that you went through with this person, but you're getting over it by the end of this month because this person that's coming in, this person is meant for you. Okay. And there's going to be, this person may have a child, you know, they may have like a teenager or someone that's like 10, somewhere in there, like preteen to like tween age. Tw when is it? What is it called? Tween? I don't know. But like, um, I want to say anywhere from 10 to 16, something like that. Okay. The person might have a child that they have. Okay. Um, so that's what I see for you guys. But the message I would say here definitely is take it slow. And also allow yourself to get over, like if I had those during virtue cards, I know it would be equal to saying release your ex because that's pretty much what it's saying for you to do. Release your ex. And it's not even something that you have to really try to do. Some of you are going to have to try to do it, but others of you, it's just going to happen because once this next person come and the play, it's going to be okay. It's, it's time. It's time. So love is afoot for you guys. And I'm glad to see that. And um, it's going to be this kind of, although I don't have a necessary wow card, I feel like it's going to be that wow feeling, wow factor of like, wow, this is happening. I kind of can't believe it. So that's what I have for you guys for the remainder of September 2016. If this relates to you guys, give me a comment below. Please let me know. Um, you can also email me and shoot me a quick email if you don't feel comfortable expressing it to the world. Um, and you guys may not necessarily see this until I'm feeling uh, for most of you, it's going to happen again throughout these next two weeks and going into October. So come back, listen to it again if you need to. And again, comment below. Let me know how this is reflecting reflecting your life and if you're new to this channel welcome 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 and subscribe because i will be back very soon with another one take care scorpio